Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Pastor John Hanna, and I'm excited about being a part of Standing in the Gap, the 48-hour prayer meeting. Um, I want to give honor to the prophet, Prophet Gideon, for the invitation, and I'm a firm believer that God is in control, that he is sovereign, and that all things work together for the good. So even now, with us having to do this virtual prayer meeting, um, I believe that God is all in this. And we need to just grab a hold to the moment and know that God is up to something. And what a better time that God is pushing us, pushing us deeper into prayer, standing in the gap. When I hear that, I, when, I, when I read that line, standing in the gap, the first thing I think about is the intercessor, that we have been called to be an intercessor. Um, if you get on the plane, there's the aisle seat, there's the window seat, but then there's the middle seat. Everyone likes to see either sit at the window or in the aisle so that they can stretch them legs. Very few people like the middle seat. Why? Because the middle seat sometimes can be the most uncomfortable seat. But I call that the seat of the intercessor. That is the seat that God puts us in. And we are assigned to go to God on behalf of someone else. If you want to back that up with scripture, the Bible says that when the children of Israel sinned after they had built the golden calf, God said, I'm going to destroy them. But Moses sat in the middle seat. What was he doing? He was going to God on behalf of the children of Israel. He was the intercessor. Let's go further. The Bible says because Moses began to talk to God. God told Moses, because you asked me. Not because of the children of Israel, but because you asked me. I'm going to do it for you. Which means that the intercessor has the ability to ask God to do something for somebody else. And because you ask for it, it shall be done. Can I get everyone to open your mouth and say, God's going to do me a favor. Come on, I need you to say, God's going to do me a favor. Let's take it further. The Bible says when Jairus, his daughter was sick, what did the father do? The father standing in the gap, went to Jesus on behalf of his daughter. He then was told Jesus, can you come to my home and lay hands on my daughter? Where's the daughter? At the house. Where's the father? In front of Jesus, in the seat of the intercessor. Because Jairus acts, now Jesus is following not the daughter, but the father. He's not sick, but the daughter is. What is he? the intercessor. Can I get you to open your mouth and say, I am the intercessor and God is going to do me a favor. We know the story. The woman with the issue of blood, she comes, everything stops for every intercessor. We must have a spirit of patience. The Bible then says that one of the servants came and told Jairus, leave Jesus alone. Your daughter is now dead. The Bible says that Jesus hears the conversation and turns and says to Jairus, the intercessor, the intercessor, don't doubt, just believe. In other words, we need you to remain in your seat of the intercessor even when things get worse. And the Bible says that God, Jesus did what? Continued to follow who? Jarius. And they go to the house and they remove some people and the daughter is raised from the dead. For everyone that is listening to me, we are going to pray for some other things and for some other people. And God's going to turn it. Why? Because we ask for it. I'm a firm believer that before you ask God for anything, we believe in the words of adoration. Adoration is when we speak well of God. Adoration is when your vocabulary is built. Adoration is for those that have relationship with God. One of the things that blow my mind is that when he asks, whom do men say that I am? What is the outside saying? And they say, some say. And, but then he turned around and said, but who do you say that I am. Adoration gives us an opportunity to tell him who he is to us. Adoration is when we just begin to build him up. Adoration is when he sits on the throne and he's surrounded with our worship. For everyone that is listening to me right now, who do you say he is? He's, your, he's, my, he's my father. He's my savior. He's my deliverer. We just want to take a 
few minutes will we all open our mouths and we begin to adore him. Hear me clearly. I believe that God is attracted to sound. Hey, which means what? You have to open your mouth wherever you are and begin to release the sound. What, what, why do you say that? When he sits on the throne, according to Revelation, he's surrounded with sound. The four beasts and the 24 something elders that constantly, day and night, cry out to God. He's attracted to sound. The two blind men did not just stand there, but they shouted. The ten lepers didn't just stand, they stand there, but they shouted. Hear me clearly. God is attracted to sound. Several things that we're going to pray for. Of course, we're going to intercede on behalf of the earth when it comes to COVID-19. Then we're going to intercede on, on, in, on behalf of our various governments, those that are in seats of authority, that they make wise decisions and not selfish decisions. And then we're going to begin to intercede for your family. For those of y'all that have a loved one or a family member that you know that they need God, today we are going to begin to intercede for them. And then I will begin to intercede for those of you all that are here and that are a part of this prayer meeting. For 48 hours, we're pressing. For 48 hours, we're constantly knocking. And he is a God that hears and he answers. He is a God, his ear is not too heavy that it cannot hear you. His hand is not too short that it cannot save you. He is a very, a very, a very present help in the time of trouble. And we believe that he hears and he answers. Do me a favor, wherever you are, can you begin to open your mouth and begin, begin to release the sound of what? We're not asking for anything yet. It is a sound of adoration. So we honor you and we magnify you and we glorify you and we give you glory. We give you glory because you are God. You are God. You are God. You are great. You are wonderful. You are excellent and you are holy. We call you holy. You are perfect in all your ways. We find no fault in you. You are an excellent God. Come on, wherever you are, open your mouth and begin to adore him. We call you holy. We call you excellent. We find no fault in you. You are supreme in all your ways. And we open our mouths wherever we are on earth and we give you glory. We say that you're the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. You are the great I am. You are our counselor. You are our doctor. You you are our way maker. You're the God that go before us. You're the God that level mountains and bring up valleys. And what do we do? We open our mouths and we give you glory because we realize that you are a good shepherd. Come on here. Open your mouths wherever you are. You are a good shepherd. You leave 99 to go after one, which means that you are an attentive God. You are the God that is into us. You know us each by name. And for that, we give you glory. You know us each by name. And for that, we give you glory. You know us each by name. And for that, we give you glory. For you're the God that is into us. You know the number of hairs on our head. You even know what we have need of before we even ask you. And what do we do? Come on, wherever you are, we give you glory. We give you glory because you have been faithful. We give you glory because you have been consistent. We give you glory because you have been a very present help. And we honor you on today and we magnify you and we give you glory. Come on, Africa, wherever you are, I need you to begin to open your mouths. We bless you for just being God. You have been a faithful God. Come on. Come on, wherever you are, you have been a Hateful God, for there's nobody like you. We honor you on today. We magnify you. We bow in your presence because you are God. Hallelujah. We say hallelujah unto you. We say wonderful unto you. We say you are a great God. We say you are a 
mighty God. We say you are a strong God. We find no fault in you. We find no fault in you. We find no fault in you. You have been God. You have been the God of our lives. You have been the God of our situation. You have been the God of our circumstances. And what do we do? Come on, you all. We open our mouths wherever we are and we sound the alarm that our God is good. We sound the alarm that our God is great. We sound the alarm that our God is present. We sound the alarm that our God reign. We sound the alarm that our God is now. Oh God, we give you glory. We give you glory. We open our mouths wherever we are. Come on, wherever you are. We open our mouths and we sound the alarm that our God is a very present help. We sound the alarm to let every demon in hell know that we stand still and we will see the salvation of the Lord. We sound the alarm that our God is our deliverer. We sound the alarm that our God is our healer. We sound the alarm that our God is our way maker. We sound the alarm that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or even think. Come on you all. We give you glory on today. We we give you glory on today. We give you glory on today. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. We give you glory because you're the God that was and is and is to come. You're the God that was. You're the God that delivered us out of the hand of the enemy. We did not choose you, but you chose us. You're the God that found us polluted in our own blood. You're the God that spoke over us and told us to live. You're the God that was. You're the God that delivered us out of our individual Egypt. You're the God that delivered us out of the hand of our Pharaoh. You're the God that delivered us out of the hand of death. And we give you what? We give you glory. You're the God that was. You're the God that did deliver us from generational curses and bloodline curses. And for that, we give you glory. Come on, you all. I say, for that, we give you glory. You're the God that was. You're the God that cleaned us up. You're the God that sanctified us. You're the God that washed us with your blood. You're the God that regulated our mind. You're the God that stopped the enemy in this track uh, and what do we do we give you glory come on here you're the God that was uh, you're the God that was uh, you're the God that saved us uh, when the enemy thought he had a grip God uh, you're the God that delivered us out of the hand of the enemy you delivered us out of our lions then you delivered us out of our various fiery furnaces uh, you delivered us out of our Egypt and our Pharaoh and what do we do we give you glory we give you glory. Come on here. We give you glory. Come on, Africa. Come on, wherever you are on the earth. I need you to begin to release a sound to the God that was. Which means you got to remember what he's already done for you. You've done enough already for me to give you glory. You're the God that was. You're the God that chose me when I was even in my mother's womb. You're the God that was. You're the God that predestined me for greatness. You're the God that was. You're the author and the finisher of my faith. You're the God that was and you're the God that is. You are the God of right now. You're the God of right now. You're the God that reign on the throne. You're the God of right now. You're the God that shield me. You're the God that protect me. You're the God that still heal me. You're the God of right now. You're the God that hear us wherever we are. And we give you glory. You're the God of right now. You're the God that right now healed. You're the God of right now. You're the God that still deliver. You're the God of right now. Now you're the God that meet every need. He told You're the God of our very present help. And we give you glory, and we give you glory, and we give you glory. The earth is yours. You're the God of right now. Hey, you're the God that meet every need. You're the God that right now heal. You're the God that right now deliver. You're the God that right now make a way. You're the God that give us peace. You're the God that give us joy. You're the God that deliver us out of the hand of the enemy. And what do we do right now? 
now we give you glory come on wherever you are we're not asking for anything yet we're not asking for anything yet we're praising you for being the God that was we're praising you for being the God that is and we're giving you glory whatever state I'm in right now I give you glory whatever state I'm in right now I give you praise whatever state I'm in right now I lift you up whatever state we're in right now we magnify your name whatever state we're in right now we shout to you whatever state we're in right now we still give you praise whatever state we're in right now we still magnify your name whatever state we're in right now we still give you glory we still give you glory come on here we still give you glory right now God in the midst of everything that's going on right now God in the midst of a trial right now God in the midst of a virus right now God in the midst of a pandemic right now God in the midst of lack what do we do we bless the Lord at all times and your praises shall continually be in my mouth I still call you holy I still call you mighty I still call you wonderful I still call you excellent I still call you sovereign and we give you glory come on Africa we give you glory come on United States come on we give you glory come on UK wherever you are I need you to give the God that was and is a praise right now he is our God he is our Savior he is our deliverer he is our way maker he is our help he is our strength he is our joy he is our peace he's the God that was he's the God that is he's the God that is he's the God that is he's the God that hear us right now he's the God that see us right now he's the God that understand us right now he's the God that is you would never turn your back on your children you would never abandon your people you're the God that is and we give you glory and we give you glory in the wilderness we give you glory in the fire we give you glory in a trial we give you glory during the test we give you glory you're the God that was and you're the God that is hey 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 he's the God that was I feel this thing he's the God that he is he is our strength he is our hope he is our peace he is our everything you are our everything you are our everything you are our everything come on here you are our everything you are our strength you are our hope you are our promise you are our foundation you are our sustainer he's the God that was he's the God that is that's go further now this is for those of us that believe he's the God that shall come he's the God of the future he's the God of tomorrow he's the God of 2020 he's the God of 2021 he's the God of 2022 he's the God of 2023 he's the God that's gonna carry us on eagles wings and what do we do we give you glory for what you shall do we give you glory for what shall come we give you glory what shall appear he's the God that was he's the God that is and he's the God that shall become he told and we give you glory he was and is and is to come he was and is and is to come he was and is and is to come we give you glory that we're gonna make it out of this we give you glory that we're gonna come through this we give you glory that we're on the other side of this we pray that our praise be waiting on us what do we do come on Africa we give you glory come on here wherever you are in the earth I put a demand on your Holy Ghost open your mouth and release a sound to the God that was come on let me point to your background to the God that was praise him for that right there he 
You're the God that was. You're the God that is. 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 You're the God that shall come. Hey, glory. Come on here. That's a faith shout. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on, a few more seconds. Everybody open your mouth. Wherever you are, I need you to begin to adore him. Who do you say he is? He's our way maker. He's our peace. He's our joy. He's our foundation. He's our stabilization. He's our everything. He is the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And the word became flesh. He's a God that cannot lie. He's a promise keeper. He's a promise giver. He's a promise deliverer. And what do we do? We give you glory. Come on here. Everybody that knows that you have a testimony, I need you to open your mouth and begin to release a praise right there. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, push. Hallelujah. Come on, push. He called the the most high. He called under the end of the most I need you to let the enemy know that he did not take your testimony. I need you to let the enemy know that he has not messed with your faith. I need you to let the enemy know that we win in whatsoever state we in. I will bless the Lord at all times. I need you to open your mouth wherever you are. Come on here. I'll represent the United States. I need you to represent Africa. I need somebody else to represent the UK. I need somebody to represent Europe. Wherever you are, I need a sound to be released. Open your mouth. Pray in the Holy Ghost for the next 20 seconds. He told Rebi under the Bahia, but under the middle of the Bosiki under the end of the Bosaya, pray Holy Ghost, pray. Roto ran that in the name of the Bosaya, but under the end of the Boho. He called Rebi under the Bahia, push. He called Rebi under the middle of the Bosaya. We're not asking for anything yet. He called Ran that in the middle of the Bosaya, but under the middle of Sata. He came Roto Rama Sata. He came Roto Rebe Sete Rata. He called Rebe Sete. I magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us, let us, let us do what exalt higher. We exalt you, oh God. We exalt you above the earth. We exalt you above every situation. We exalt you above every trial. We exalt you above every tribulation. We exalt you above every burning. We exalt you over every problem. We exalt you 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 are glorified you are glorified you are magnified you are magnified you're bigger than a virus you're bigger than a president you're bigger than a king you're bigger than anything on earth we magnify your name we blow up the name of Jesus we blow up the name of Jesus every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess we blow up the name of Jesus. We release that name in our country. We release that name in our community. We release that name in our family. We release that name in our house. We give you glory. We blow up the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. He Clear the atmosphere by giving God glory. Clear the atmosphere by giving God praise. Clear the atmosphere by renouncing the enemy. Clear the atmosphere by magnifying God. We give you glory. Come on, push. 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 He now unto him that is able 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 now 
I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able. Now I tell him that is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. We're about to call out some things and I need you to get in the seat of the intercessor. We're about to pray. Come on here. Now we're about to give our petition to God. So now God, we come unto you because you are able and we lift up this thing, this coronavirus 19 and we say that by your stripes, come on Africa, we are healed. We decree and we declare that there's no sickness bigger than you, that there's no virus bigger than you, that you are able to do anything but fail. So God, we begin to speak. You said the power of life and death is in the tongue. So God, we speak right now and we call this thing to be released off the earth. We call for healing to come forth. We call for deliverance to come forth. We pray that bodies be healed. We believe God that you could take the sting out of this thing. We believe that you are able to heal. We believe that you are able to reverse. We believe that you are able to reverse. Come on, y'all push. We believe that you are able to pervert, to reverse. We pray God for the United States. We pray for Africa. We pray God that you begin to turn this thing. Your word says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. Here's your word and it shall be no more. And we ask God that you begin to overturn this virus. Overturn it wherever it is. We pray God that it begin to back up. He We begin to speak healing over those God that have already been tested positive. We pray God that by your stripes that they be healed. We speak to the immune system and we call the immune system to be strong. We pray for their lungs. We pray for their hearts. We pray for their intestines. We pray God that you begin to breathe life back into them. We pray God that you give them mouth to mouth resuscitation. Inhale, exhale. Somebody I hear the Lord say inhale and exhale. As you begin to breathe, God's beginning to breathe in you. No more pain in your body. No more virus in your body. And we decree and we declare a speedy recovery. I hear the word immediately. I pray that God immediately turn your situation. Come on, begin to intercede for the virus. Let's go. It shall leave. We shall be healed. We shall walk in health and strength. We shall live a long, healthy, anointed, prosperous life. And we shall live a long, healthy, anointed, prosperous life. And we plead the blood over our body. And we plead the blood. Come on, y'all. Over our body. And we decree and we declare that we are healed and the virus is leaving our country and the virus is leaving the earth and we shall walk in health and strength and there will be no backlash that the blood of Jesus we plead the blood over the body right now we plead the blood over our country we plead the blood over our community we plead the blood over our city we plead the blood over our house we plead the blood over everybody that's watching right now and we decree and we declare that you shall live you shall live you shall live come on I feel the anointing you shall live help me you say I shall live and we speak those things that be not and we say that it is gone and we speak that it is over and we speak that we made it and we speak that we made it and we speak that we made it and we speak that we got healed and we speak that we got delivered and we speak that God reversed it and we speak that it's no longer here in the name of Jesus we come against the negative words that have already been spoken and we reverse it right now and we will say it would not 
be as the doctor said, but it will be as the Lord said. And we give you glory. Come on here. And we give you glory. Come on here. And we pray for those that are in seats of authority. We pray for the kings. We pray for the presidents. We pray for those that are in government position. And we pray for them right now. We pray, God, that you would give them wisdom. We pray, God, that you would give them direction. The heart of the king is in the Lord's hands. I repeat, the heart of the king is in the Lord's hands. I repeat, the heart of the king is in the Lord's hands. We come against the spirit of greed. We come against the spirit of greed. We come against the spirit of witchcraft. We come against the spirit of manipulation. We come against the spirit of control. And he whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And he whom the sun sets free is free indeed. We pray for those in leadership. God, we pray that you begin to turn their hearts. We pray that you begin to turn their motives. We pray that you begin to turn their ideas. Let it be beneficial for everybody and not for their personal gain. And we give you glory and we give you glory. We pray, God, that if there's anybody in seats that get another spirit, we pray, God, that you begin to pull the covers off. We pray, God, that you begin to remove the mask. Can we see them for who they are in the name of Jesus? We pray right now, God. We even pray for those that are pastors and leaders and prophets and apostles. We pray that they would have your heartbeat. We pray that they would not be selfish. We pray that they would not be going after filthy gain. But we pray, God, that they would have your heart in the name of Jesus. God, give us a pastor's heart. Give us a shepherd's heart. Only let your word come out of the prophet's mouth. We bind every lying prophet. We bind every lying prophet. We bind every lying prophet spirit. We come against flesh. We come against ego. We come against self-centered people in the name of Jesus and we call Christ to be the center. He called Rebe Shete. Let everything revolve around Jesus. Let every leader revolve around Jesus. Let every knee bow. Let every tongue confess. We pray for those in leadership and we decree and we declare that they shall be healed. They and we decree and we declare that their spirit shall be healed. We decree and we declare their motives shall be set free. We decree and we declare their hearts shall be right. We decree and we declare that you will get the glory. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you the Messiah. We pray for those in leadership that already believe in you. We pray that they be the head and not the tail. We pray that they be the light in the midst of darkness. We pray that they be the lender and not the borrower. We pray that they be the head. We pray for those that are already sitting in seats of leadership that already are saved. We pray that you increase the anointing. Let's go. We pray that you increase the anointing. We pray that you increase the anointing. We pray that you increase their oil. We pray that you give them more wisdom. We pray that you give them more direction. We pray that you give them more clarity wherever you are right now I need you to lift your hands I'm going to put the mic down and I need you to begin to worship God on your own for what you've already prayed for we've prayed for COVID-19 we prayed for those in leadership now open your mouth and begin to bless God wherever you are go there you go 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 Go, hey, hey, higher, higher. You are able, you are able. It is already done. It is already done. It is already done. It is already done. It is already. We are your intercessors, and we decree and we declare that it is already done. And we decree and we declare that it is already done. And we decree and we declare that it is already done. And we decree and we declare that it is already done. You hear and you answer. You hear and you answer. You hear and you answer. So now, God, we're about to intercede for our family. Let's go. We're about to intercede for our family. We're about to intercede for our family. We pray for husbands and wives. We pray for sons and daughters. We pray for nieces and nephews. We pray for uncles and aunts. We pray for our family. Everyone right now, I need you to begin to say their last name. We begin to say your family name out loud. I pray for the Hannahs. I pray for the Browns. Begin to call the last name of your 
family. I pray, I pray, release that name, release that name. We release the names of these family members and we decree and we declare that every family member shall be saved. We fight in the spirit realm. We denounce every spirit that is not of God and we decree and we declare. Come on, every mother, every father, I need you to begin to pray for your children. I need you to begin to call your children's names out right now. I need you to begin to speak your children's name. If you got a mother that's alive, a father, I need you to begin to say their name. I need you to release their name in the atmosphere. So now, God, we cover these names. We cover these names. We cover these names. We cover Bradford. We cover Sean. We cover Rashida. We cover Anna. We cover my nieces and my nephews. We cover those names. We cover, we cover, we cover, we cover, we cover Benaya and Benhiola. We cover those names. We cover those names and we speak over them and we say that they shall be saved. We ask God that you begin to cause an intervention. If there's anybody that is not saved, we pray God that you begin to save right now. We pray God that you begin to break them down until they say yes, Lord. We pray God that they submit totally to your will. Come on, pray for your family. We pray for your family right now and we cover them right now and we plead the blood over them. We decree and we declare that they will not be killed in the street. We decree and we declare that no hurt, no harm, no danger will come near them. But we decree and we declare that our entire family shall be saved. Come on, I need you to get in the seat like Jarius. I need you to press. Come on, parents. You did not birth anything for the devil to have. I need you to push in prayer. I need you to fight for your sons. I need you to fight for your daughters. I need you to get the spirit of David when his wives and his children were stolen and he recovered all. I need you to fight. And I speak that your whole house and I speak that your whole family shall 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 be saved open your mouth and begin to worship God for your family for a few seconds go go hallelujah 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 we're ready we're almost done we're almost done we're almost done i'm gonna need those of you that are tuned in right now i'm going to have you to do something that you might think is strange but it is god I need you to literally take your hand and whatever you watching me on, I need you to put your hand on it. Hey, Mashaya, if it's your television, if it's your computer, if it is your phone, I need you to put your hand on it because we, I, am about to cover you in the name of Jesus. Oh, my, 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 see. He corribi and that abasaya. He shake. Allow me to speak some things over you. Please put your hand on it right there. And I speak to you right now. And I say that your ladder shall be greater. And I speak to you right now. And I say, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what God is going to do for you. I pray for you right now. I come against stress. He shaya. I come against anything that is weighing you down. And I pray that God will give you the ability to cast your cares. I pray that whatever's been heavy on you, that God begin to lift it. Hey. Basha, batandoro say, God begin to lift it. Hey, shake it. I pray that it be made light. I pray that you not feel the weight that you've been feeling in the name of Jesus. Come on here. I cover your mind right now and I speak to your mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I pray that whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, for some of the things are honest, for some of the things of a good report, that you think on these things. I cover your thought pattern right now. I cover your thought pattern right now. I pray that God will let pleasant things come to your mind. I come against the stress of your mind and I decree and I declare that you will not lose your mind. But I speak to your mind right now and I say that your mind is being made whole. Hiya, Matando. 
say your mind is being made whole. Come on here. Your mind is being made whole. I come against every attack of the enemy that's been attacking your mind and I speak to your mind to rest in the Lord right now. I speak to your mind to rest in the Lord. I cover your body from the top of your head to the sole of your feet and I pray that the blood cover you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I pray that God now begin to let prayer begin to turn even more. Come on here. Begin to turn even more. I pray that he wake us up like he woke Samuel up out of our sleep and tell us what to pray for what to begin to intercede for I cover you as an intercessor I pray that God give you strength right now I pray for your strength I pray that you get a second win come on inhale and exhale I pray that you get a second win I call the warrior in you to stand up I call the warrior in you to stand up I call the warrior higher higher his strength is made perfect in your weakness his strength is made perfect in your weakness I pray that the strength of God get on you right now I come against the spirit of quitting I come against the spirit of going backwards I call you to go forward I call you to rise to the top I call you to be a champion in the name of Jesus and I defy every attack of the enemy I come against your Goliaths in the spirit I come against your Delilahs in the spirit and I call you to be wise in this day and time in the name of Jesus and for that we give you glory and for that we give you glory and I speak to you and I say that you my brothers and my sisters uh, that you shall make it through this say this trial did not come to kill you but to push you and you will come out victorious and for that we give you glory wherever you are right now open your mouth do me a favor close your eyes and just begin to worship Worship God wherever you are. Go, 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 go. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, God. Come on, I don't know. There's some things that God wants us to submit to in this season. Can you just keep saying, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Your will be done. 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 You be glorified. 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 And for that, we give you glory. Have your way during this season. Have your way in this prayer meeting. Have your way in these 48 hours. God, don't let us come out the way we went in. But we decree and we declare that something will change. We decree and we declare that something will be done different. We decree and we declare that you will answer within the 48 hours. And we give you glory in advance. And we give you glory in advance. And we magnify you in advance. Come on, have a minute and begin to worship. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. 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 And for that we give you glory. And for that we give you glory. And my assignment, my assignment, my assignment. Hey, Randa Ramasse. Hey, Randa Ramasse. Randa Ramasse. Hey, Rase. I have prayed for you. Now you stretch your hands and you begin to cover me all the way in Africa. Stretch your hands towards whatever device you're watching and allow me to give you 60 seconds to cover me in prayer. Go. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I submit to prayer. 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 We have interceded for one another. We have interceded in your will, your will, your will, your will, your will will be done. And for that, we say thank you. We say thank you for calling us into 48 hours. We say thank you for birth 
lifting prayer. We say thank you for answering prayer. And we decree and we declare that better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. That better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. That it will be better at the end of these 48 hours. And for that we give you glory and we thank you and we thank you and we honor you and we glorify you. And it is in Jesus' name, it is in Jesus' name that we give you glory and we give you praise. And I thank you for the opportunity of allowing me to pray with you this way. And I long for the day that I could come to Ghana and to stand with you and to hear the sound of prayer on that side of the earth. I long for the day that we can be under one roof praying and giving God glory. But in the meantime, we honor him for whatever time it is right now, and we bless him at all times. God bless you.